All right, I am recording my, well, one of my first videos from my new device here, the Nokia N900. And uh, just to give you a little uh, heads up on the specifications, it looks like this bad boy can take 25 frames per second. Uh, but I don't know if you've heard this N900, or not this one, but all nine, N900s have some kind of uh, video playback problem where it actually skips frames. And uh, I want to find out if that's true or not. I'm obviously, on the screen, what I'm looking at looks fine. Uh, but I'm afraid that when I upload this to YouTube, it's going to be totally different. And I'm going to notice those frame rate skips. Um, I'm kind of pulling a double whammy here. If you can see there's a device in front of me. I'm actually saying goodbye to it. It's Windows Mobile 6.5 device. And uh, it's time, you know, time to say goodbye if you've heard the latest news. Why don't I turn this on? If you've heard the latest news about uh, Windows Mobile... It is going bye-bye. Actually, it's going to be turning into Windows Phone Series 7, and uh, this is going to be obsolete. Um, yeah, this is actually the H. I'm sorry, the AT&T Pure. Uh, so I purchased this from AT&T, and uh, it's also known as the HCC Touch Diamond 2. Other parts of the world, and the eight. Actually, the I. If you can tell, this is a different setup than what they give you with AT&T. Uh, the AT&T Pure has you know, almost the same kind of uh, ROM here, except down here all the icons are kind of bland and I mean, it's kind of a boring setup that they give for you, uh, that they uh, that set you up with and it's also full of AT&T bloatware. Um, but like I said, if you've noticed, this is not the typical AT&T ROM. Actually, I, I downloaded this ROM. It's I believe it's the Touch Diamond 2 original ROM. Um, Anyway, I downloaded it from uh, the XDA developers uh, website, which made Windows Mobile very, very interesting. Hopefully they can continue uh, with their awesome work over when it switches over to the Windows Phone Series 7. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm saying goodbye to this. Um, you know, Windows, uh, I'm sorry, Microsoft didn't really uh, invest too much time in their mobile phones and always had problems. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens with Windows Phone Series 7. In the meantime, I'll go ahead and play around with my new device and uh, see what's going on. Uh, yeah, time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, that's it. All right, I'm over it. Uh, okay, I'll upload this to YouTube and I'll uh, check out the frame rate. And hopefully, it's not too bad. You know, I, I really like this. Uh, this, uh, the camera on this and and uh, the interface, everything else is really awesome on the N900. Um, yeah, just stay tuned for some more videos. Uh, what I'll do is I'll probably do some comparisons with the um, interface and, and camera and whatnot uh, with other devices such as maybe the iPhone 3GS, things like that. Other devices I get my hands on. Oh, uh, that's a recording light, by the way, from the N900. Maybe I should get that out of the frame. I really wanted you to see kind of close up. Yeah, anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.